Jesus Christ's blood unsealed power to a sinless life. Jesus Christ came to earth as 100% man with the possibility to sin like all men but did not sin, not because of his own power as God, but by depending on his Father through a faith relationship with him. His victory over sin and sacrifice pleased God and set a new standard for all humans. We no longer can claim weakness of the flesh, or being human, born of Adam under the curse of sin, or simply being sinful, to indulge in sin and lawlessness. There's a new creation in Jesus Christ. Therefore if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature, old things are passed away, behold, all things are become new. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17. If you so wish, today, you can become a new creature in Jesus Christ, living behind the old connection to Adam that causes you to sin, and be one with God in Jesus Christ and become sinless just like Jesus Christ. Whosoever is born of God does not commit sin, for his seed remaineth in him, and he cannot sin, because he is born of God. 1 John 3 verse 9 Satan and the flesh have no power over a person who is truly in Jesus Christ to cause her to sin. We know that whosoever is born of God sinneth not, but he that is begotten of God keepeth himself, and that wicked one toucheth him not. 1 John 5 verse 18 when you learn to abide in Jesus Christ, no power of darkness can cause you to sin. Whosoever abides in him sinneth not, whosoever sinneth hath not seen him, neither known him. 1 John 3 verse 6 You must be under the dominion of Satan in order for him to cause you to sin and commit lawlessness. He that committeth sin is of the devil. 1 John 3 verse 8 you sin because you are under the dominion of Satan, you are under the dominion of Satan by your own choice because Jesus Christ came to destroy the work of Satan. For this purpose the Son of God was manifested, that he might destroy the works of the devil. 1 John 3 verse 8 You love Jesus Christ, but do you know how to abide in him? I am crucified with Christ, nevertheless I live, yet not I but Christ lives in me, and the life which I now live in the flesh I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me, and gave himself for me. Galatians 2 verse 20. Do you know how to die daily and allow him to live his sinless, holy, and in oneness with God through you? Do you know how to be crucified with Jesus Christ so you no longer live by him? I would like to show you, subscribe.